chapter 4 And the children of Israel again did evil in the sight of the Lord when Yehud was dead. And the Lord sold them into the hand of Yabin king of Ganaan that reigned in Atsor, the captain of whose host was Sisera, which dwelt in Aroshet of the Gentiles. And the children of Israel cried unto the Lord, for he had nine hundred chariots of iron, and twenty years he mightily oppressed the children of Israel. And Deborah, a prophetess, the wife of Lapidoth, she judged Israel at that time. And she so dwelt under the palm tree of Deborah between Ramah and Bethel in Mount Ephraim. And the children of Israel came up to her for judgment. And she sent and called Barak, the son of Abinoam, out of Kadesh Naphtali, and said unto him, Hath not the Lord God of Israel commanded, saying, Go and draw toward Mount Tabor, and take with thee ten thousand men of the children of Naphtali, and of the children of Zebulon? And I will draw unto thee to the river Kishon Sisera, the captain of Yabin's army, with his chariots and his multitude. And I will deliver him into thine hand. And Barak said unto her, If thou wilt go with me, then I will go. But if thou wilt not go with me, then I will not go. And she said, I will surely go with thee, notwithstanding the journey that thou takest shall not be for thine honor. For the Lord shall sell Sisera into the hand of a woman. And Deborah arose and went with Barak to Kadesh. And Barak called Zebulon and Naphtali to Kadesh. And he went up with ten thousand men at his feet. And Deborah went up with him. Now Eber the Karaite, which was of the children of Obab, the father-in-law of Moses, had served himself from the Canaanites and pitched his tent unto the plain of Sahanaim, which is by Kadesh. And they showed Sesera that Barak, the son of Abinoam, was gone up to Mount Dabor. And Sisera gathered together all his chariots, even nine hundred chariots of iron, and all the people that were with him, from Arud Sheth of the Gentiles, unto the river of Kishon. And Deborah said unto Barak, Up, for this is the day in which the Lord hath delivered Sisera into thine hand. Is not the Lord gone out before thee? So Barak went down from Mount Tabor and ten thousand men after him. And the Lord discomfited Sisera and all his chariots and all his host with the edge of the sword before Barak, so that Sisera lighted down off his chariot and fled away on his feet. But Barak pursued after the chariots and after the host unto Aroseth of the Gentiles. And the host of Sisera fell upon the edge of the sword, and there was not a man left. Howbeit Sisera fled away on his feet to the tent of Yael, the wife of Eber the Canite. For there was peace between Yabin, the king of Alsor, and the house of Eber the Canite. And Yael went out to meet Sesera and said unto him, Turn in, my lord, turn in to me, fear not. And when he had turned in unto her into the tent, she covered him with a mantle. And he said unto her, Give me, I pray thee, a little water to drink, for I am thirsty. And she opened a bottle of milk 
and gave him drink and covered him again he said unto her stand in the door of the tent and it shall be when any man doth come and inquire of thee and say is there any man here thou shalt say no then yael eber's wife took a nail of the tent and took an hammer in her hand and went softly unto him and smote the nail into his temples and fastened it into the ground for he was fast asleep and weary so he died and behold as barak pursued sisera yael came out to meet him and said unto him come i will show thee the man whom thou seekest and when he came into her tent behold sisera lay dead and the nail was in his temples so god subdued on that day yabin the king of canaan before the children of israel and the hand of the children of israel prospered and prevailed against yabin the king of canaan until they had destroyed yabin king of canaan